Hello everyone, my name is Duke and welcome back to another episode of Ask Us Anything or AWUWA where we gather your questions from the internet and answer them. In today's episode, we look at some tablets for video editing, a good phone under 600 ringgit for watching videos and if Samsung's Good Lock app is available in Malaysia. Sophie, cue the intro. We'll start the first question from one of Fatin's videos. Could you recommend me a tablet for editing videos? If you're getting a tablet for editing videos, you should avoid tablets with entry-level processors. Therefore, we'll start with the Xiaomi Pad 5 powered by a flagship class Qualcomm Snapdragon 860. Despite being launched back in 2019, it's still a capable performer for the price. Speaking about the price, the configuration with 6GB of RAM and 120GB of storage goes for 1,499 ringgit. If you need extra internal storage, the 256GB variant with the same amount of RAM will cost you 1,649 ringgit. Moving up the performance and price ladder, you have the Samsung Galaxy Tab S8, which is powered by a newer Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 paired with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. It also costs significantly more at 3,149 ringgit on Shopee. Besides the increase in performance, you are also getting Samsung DeX with the Tab S8, which turns the tablet's user interface into a more PC-like experience. Moreover, the tablet also supports video output to an external display, allowing you to work on a larger screen. But if you're willing to shell out in the neighborhood of 3,000 ringgit, you might want to consider the Microsoft Surface Go 3, which runs Windows 11, allowing you to install full-featured desktop video editing software instead of mobile ones. The device on its own without a keyboard or mouse costs 2,959 ringgit. For that price, you get a tablet powered by an Intel Core i3 10100Y processor mated to 8GB of RAM and 120GB of storage. On the Apple side of things, the base 9th generation iPad with an A13 Bionic chip has more than enough computing power to handle most mobile video editing tasks. Prices start from 1,599 ringgit for 64 gigabytes of storage and going up to 2,349 ringgit for the 256 gigabyte variant. Next up, we move on to a question from Najib's video for five best phones for under 500 ringgit. Among the phones on this list, which one has no lag and is good for watching videos on Netflix and YouTube? Well, the phones that Najib listed in his video were the Realme Narzo 5A Prime, Redmi 10C, Poco C40, Samsung Galaxy A03, and Vico T10. Because this is a budget category, it's difficult to choose a phone that does all those things mentioned the best. So, here is one phone from the list that does each of those things the best. If you're looking for a phone with the best performance from that list, that would be the Xiaomi Redmi 10C with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 680. For watching YouTube videos, the best would be the Realme Narzo 50A Prime as it's the only one with a 1080p Full HD display. However, it does not have Widewind L1, a proprietary digital rights management technology from Google which is required by Netflix to allow streaming in Full HD. The only phone on the list that supports Widewind L1 is the Samsung Galaxy A03. However, you will be watching 1080p Full HD videos on a 720p HD display. But I guess that's better than streaming Netflix content at 480p standard definition on the Realme. The final question for this episode reads, Hi, I'm a Samsung S22 Ultra user. May I know what is holding on Samsung to launch their Good Lock app for users in Malaysia? Well, do I have news for you, as the Good Lock app is now available for download here in Malaysia. You can only find it on the Galaxy Store and not on the Google Play Store. For the uninitiated, Good Lock is a Samsung-made app which allows you to redesign the look and feel of your Galaxy device more than what the available customization options allow. Essentially, Good Lock is a collection of modules that you can download to customize different aspects of the phone like the home and lock screen, recent apps layout, clock face, and quick settings panel to name a few. Yes, I hear you that you can do this with the countless third-party apps on the Google Play Store. However, Good Lock is a first-party app and it works and integrates seamlessly with Samsung's One UI. 
go ahead and give GoodLog a try and let me know down in the comments if you have any questions regarding the app. Well, that concludes our episode for today. Remember to like our video if you liked it and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok to get the latest news on almost everything. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next AWUA! Bye bye! Wait, cut the lock man!